it can keep going. And to me, my biggest problem to solve is how can we solve the fucking waste problem, right? Well, obviously, there's no circular economy when it comes to a lot of these businesses. So that's how a lot of shit ends up getting wasted because they don't give a fuck because the consumers don't give a fuck or they're not educated enough about it. So that's why they pay me as a lean thinking person to go in there and clean stuff up like that's, up. that's one of my professions that I do on the corporate side of the house is I'm going in there and I look at processes and I look at waste and how do we prepare for the future? And I'm available for coaching too. We we that's not what, in here I, just talking. We're like this yeah. we get paid to do this shit. <laughs> we just we figure hell if we hear and we realize and a lot of people coming to us and they asking us these questions. That's why really I had to write a fucking book. I kept getting the same questions. Shoot, why is this like that? Well, what do you know about this? You know what? If you want to know what I'm thinking, I started charging people during COVID to pay for my thoughts. At some point, I just got tired of talking. My knowledge. I'm summing up. You know, I think me and you, we saving a lot of time. You know, the little crumbs that we oh man are yeah. charging is, is nothing to advance you. If you don't want to pay, you want to do it on your own. Well, fine. You go spend the hours of YouTube. You go take the college yeah. degree, go to college and spend the four years. You go read all the books. Matter of fact, I just bought three new books today. Lean, lean Thinking was one of them. Uh, lean Thinking is a good book. Making Ideals Happen. So Making Ideals Happen, oh, yeah. Running Lean is the book that I did. And Going on the Offense is the third book. See, this shit don't stop. We, we're we in a never-ending life of acquiring mm -hmm. knowledge. And it's best to know what's going on around you. So as long as you're watching this shit, you will always know what's happening. And to be honest with you, the shit really hasn't changed. I mean, you got to look at how the playing field is leveling out for everyone. But it's because more people are learning, okay, well, what's the in-between? What is keeping me from being like the people that I put all, like, blame everything on? And I always say, if it's your life, and it's not going the way you wanted to go. It's your motherfucking fault. You can't blame nobody but your damn self. So I always say, if failure is coming up in in your life all the time, it's kind of like committing a crime. You keep showing up <laughs> at the scene of this crime, you're going to jail. So <laughs> things keep happening. Well, it ain't my fault. But you know, nah, you've been I at the scene it. of these last five misfortune. You've been at the scene. So yeah. hmm, we'd be locking you up. <laughs> Stop <laughs> using them, them thoughts. <laughs> You got to, and you know, and on, on TikTok, I, and I, I put it something out on TikTok, and I think that's why I said I'm gonna start on 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 TikTok putting out the daily questions. You know, a lot of times we give out knowledge, and we, we and we try to tell you, and a lot of people are putting a lot of knowledge out, but sometimes you gotta stop and you gotta think, and you gotta answer your own question. You gotta go in and research and answer these questions. So this is why I'm coming up with the daily questions you should ask yourself. They say asking the right questions yep. and getting the right answers is the key to, the key to success.